so guys let's dive into this question uh, yeah here comes the question just rub the whole nonsense so the question is as follows uh, oh i hope you guys already know this question so uh, say particle with restoring force proportional to the displacement and resisting force proportional to the velocity is subjected to force f is equals to f not sin omega t see i can consider it as a spring force because spring force is directly proportional to its displacement kx and it is connected to some mass m and if this is placed in a liquid of uh, if if i place this in any, any liquid then this uh, as the mass oscillates the mass will also experience external force called viscous force and this viscous force is directly proportional to its velocity which will be studying in mechanical properties of matter right and also we are applying another force uh, this force we are applying at this point and we are just pulling up and down and up and down so i'm pulling this up and down and up and down with a force which varies sinusoidally if not sin omega t so this is the situation and uh, the frequency uh, or i can say the uh, system this this can be uh, known as this can be said as damping forced oscillations this force that i am applying is the forced for forced oscillation and this uh, force which is due to the velocity is damping now let's try to look at this omega 1 and omega 2 so when will be the amplitude uh, is maximum see this amplitude will be maximum at omega is equals to omega naught which will prove in a very little time see uh, omega naught is nothing but the natural frequency in this case uh, if i just remove this liquid and if i just remove this uh, external force f naught sin omega t then i'll be left with only spring and mass m and the force uh, the frequency at which this system rotates uh, or os oscillates omega which is known as k by m this is the natural frequency this is our natural frequency so when omega is equals to omega not then the amplitude will be maximum uh, and uh, solving this mathematically is a big uh, task because uh, which requires a double differential uh, equation we need to solve a second order differential equation the equation will be m double y dash plus c y dash plus k y is equals to f not sin omega t so guys uh, let's continue so m y double dash plus c y plus k y is equals to f not sin omega t here k y is the force due to its uh, elongation y dash is nothing but uh, dy by dt which is force due to the velocity in which this case viscous force left not sin omega t and which is equals to mass into total acceleration this equation is nothing but uh, newton's second law application of newton's second law and uh, this is second order differential equation which uh, requires some higher mathematical knowledge so let's just solve this with a uh, practical way let's just uh, try to generate our whole system in some computer generated or i can say it's just a stimulation of the given problem so let's look at the stimulation of the given problem so here is the stimulation see uh, this force uh, the blue color thing which we can see let me draw this clearly this blue color thing this is the force which we are exerting this is f not sin omega t and this uh, force uh, the spring constant can be anything it's not k here uh, the force uh, the spring constant which uh, is considered to be the value let's just check it out uh, i didn't remember spring constant is equals to k uh, here spring constant is equals to k so this is the spring constant k and also where is our uh, viscous constant c so c is nothing but uh, the viscous constant or alpha v so now 
let's just uh, find out the amplitude at different uh, this what we call omega different values of omega Hmm. Now first let's check uh, with the less value of omega which is see the omega naught this is the natural frequency this natural frequency is given to be 0 0.4472 and this omega naught value depends upon k it value depends upon c and also it depends upon f naught I guess we need to check so let's uh, check the value of omega at very very less so we can check the value of omega let's say at 0 0.4 or 0 0.123 let's check this see at this uh, at the value of 0 omega is equal to 0 0.123 let us write 0 0.123 this is this is the amplitude right I'm sorry, I'm not able to draw this properly. Okay. This is the amplitude. Sorry. This is the amplitude at 0 0.123. Let us decrease the amplitude. So let us decrease the omega. The value of omega. you can clearly see that when omega is very very large uh, this can't be more than pi if the omega is 2.82742 see when omega is 2.82472 this amplitude is zero it's very very less now if the omega is very very small let's say approximately zero because we can also set it to zero I'm not damn sure. So 0 0.0034. In this case, the amplitude is this. This is the amplitude, and uh, this is smaller than this. So the omega will be maximum at omega naught. See, at very very less values, it is turning to be zero. Let's try to check this with very very less value I don't know why I'm not able to enter the value so let's just leave it out see why because uh, it is given in our anxiety also let's just check it out See if you study this whole part, then you will definitely understand. The phenomenon of increase in amplitude when drawing force is close to the natural frequency of the oscillator is called the resonance. 
so that means uh, basically here it means that uh, the amplitude will be maximum amplitude will be maximum when the driving force the frequency of or the frequency of driving force equals to the frequency of the natural frequency of the oscillator then it is known as resonance so at this condition whenever uh, the frequency of uh, external force equals to the frequency of uh, the natural frequency of the oscillator then the amplitude will be maximum and this is the phenomenon known as a uh, resonance right so that's the that's the thing uh, because i just wanted to show you uh, uh, physically or at least uh, a computer simulation so that's the reason see we can't just believe the things uh, and even we are not sure about mathematics so let's just do with some physics so let's substitute this value to be 0.001 let's check out the amplitude very very less value uh, omega 1 see you can see the omega for omega is equals to 1 uh, for omega is equals to 1 the oscillations are very very less or I can say the amplitude is less see the omega 1 is less than the natural frequency but still the amplitude is very less now if the value of omega let's set it uh, to be 0 0.4472 and now let's check this is the f this is the amplitude when so you can see this is the amplitude to omega naught now let's just lower the value and let's just check is this the maximum or not let's check at uh, 0 0.35 at 0 0.35 uh, this seems to be approximately close uh, it's not even there is not much difference so 0 0.35 is very close to 0 0.21 let's, let's go with this value see the the value as a value of omega you can clearly see that as a value of omega is decreasing the amplitude is also decreasing here this is the value for 0 0.21 let's make it much smaller let's find out what happens 0 0.001 this is very very small see the amplitude is very 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 much smaller this is the amplitude actually and the least uh, omega that we can apply is 0 0.314 see the add value omega is equals to 0 0.003 interesting add value is 0 0.003 the amplitude is approximately 0 see, because it is moving in a straight line uh, obviously its amplitude is 0 so we can conclude that after this many experiments the amplitude of forced damped SHM damped oscillations is maximum when omega is equals to omega naught or I can say omega 1 is equals to omega naught so this solves our first part so omega 1 should be equals to omega naught so obviously this is not the correct answer third option is not the correct answer and uh, omega 1 is equals to omega naught so there might be chance this could be the correct answer but we need to confirm whether omega 2 is equals to omega naught or not so that means when the energy is 
is maximum. Omega should be equals to omega naught. So we check that the amplitude is maximum when the frequency of uh, driving force or uh, the frequency of forced oscillations equals to the natural frequency or omega naught. But we need to confirm whether the energy is also maximum or only the amplitude. See, for this, uh, first of all, we need to write uh, the energy equation. See, the energy associated with this type of motion as the particle is moving in up and downward direction. So, the only energy associated with this particle is kinetic energy plus potential energy half mv square plus half kx square. And uh, this turns out to be, let me check. This turns out to be half m a square omega square sin square omega t minus theta plus omega naught square cos square omega t minus t. So this is the uh, final energy and the derivation is not a uh, uh, headache. So in this expression we can see that uh, the energy will be maximum when omega naught equals to omega naught. Why? Because uh, see at resonance the energy is given by see, at resonance. energy is equals to half m omega naught square a square now let us say if i apply omega greater than omega naught if omega is greater than omega naught then i can write omega as omega is equals to omega naught plus delta m omega so i am just increasing the omega by greater than omega naught so what happens uh, e turns out to be half m a square into omega naught plus delta omega whole square sin square omega t minus theta plus omega naught square cos square omega t minus theta so if i expand this i'll be getting omega naught square sin square omega t minus theta plus 2 omega naught delta omega sin square omega t minus theta Uh, a square plus b square plus 2 sorry a square plus b square plus 2ab so it should be only sin square and uh, also delta omega square sin square omega t minus theta plus omega naught square cos square omega t minus theta and this whole turns out to be half m omega naught square a square plus half m delta omega square sin square omega t minus theta plus some term so this value is greater than the energy at resonance so obviously as the value of omega increases the energy also increases so it's not maximum at omega is equal to omega naught so energy is not maximum at omega naught it will be maximum at uh, other value let's just check it out uh, practically with our stimulation Okay guys, let's quickly check out uh, the energy. Let's just uh, we just derived uh, the energy is not maximum at uh, mega naught. So let's just do some practicals and then we'll leave this. See, uh, I'm saying that omega the energy should increase as the value of omega increases, right? So this is my idea. So what is the? Uh, let's just uh, check the value of uh, energy or uh, what. What is the energy the particle has at uh, its resonance that is 0 0.4472 so let's just run this stimulation see the energy see the particle is moving here and there so 
so this is energy now if i increase this omega to 3 this is very big now let's see what happens so the particle is oscillating with more frequency so this might be having the more energy which we can uh, and obviously it has more energy which is greater than the previous energy can even check for the value of uh, 1.4 yeah, the particle can have more energy uh, the obviously the particle will have more energy uh, than the energy at the frequency so finally the answer for this question it should be not the second option or neither the third option so correct answer should be omega 1 is equal to omega naught or I can say the energy the amplitude will be maximum when omega is equal to omega naught and uh, energy is not maximum at the omega naught energy will be maximum uh, energy increases as the value of omega increases so that's it